Dear sisters, brothers, friends, thank you for taking some of your precious time to view what we have prepared for this Wednesday of Holy Week. We appreciate your replies and reactions. Our reading today is found in Matthew 26, 6 to 13, Jesus anointed at Bethany. While Jesus was in Bethany, in the home of Simon the leper, a woman came to him with an alabaster jar of very expensive perfume, which she poured on his head as he was reclining at table. When the disciples saw this, they were indignant. Why this waste, they asked. This perfume could have been sold at a high price and the money given to the poor. Aware of this, Jesus said to them, Why are you bothering this woman? She has done a beautiful thing to me. The poor you will always have with you, but you will not always have me. When she poured this perfume on my body, she did it to prepare me for burial. Truly I tell you, wherever the gospel is preached throughout the world, what she has done will always be told in memory of her. Reflecting today on my alabaster jar, this is a lovely story of love in action. Matthew doesn't identify the woman who poured the perfume on Jesus' head, but there are some things about her actions that are indicated. What the woman brought was costly. It seems this woman found out that Jesus was a guest at Simon's house and used the opportunity to display her deep appreciation, gratitude, and love for Jesus. Words would not be enough, so she brought something to make her expression tangible. What she brought was not cheap. It was very expensive perfume. The disciples estimated that it could have been sold for a high price. I see in this a picture of someone who was willing to give her best to Jesus. She valued him so much that nothing was too costly to offer him. What the woman did left her jar empty. Note, Matthew says she came with an alabaster jar of very expensive perfume. I imagine it being a full jar and not just a jar with some very expensive perfume in it. The moving part of the scene for me is the woman's extravagance in pouring the perfume on Jesus' head. The story doesn't say she poured a little, neither does it say she poured a lot. Matthew writes, which she poured on his head while he was reclining at the table. I think she poured it all on Jesus. The woman's lavishness drew criticism from the disciples who called what she had done a waste. I see in this a picture of total surrender. Here was one willing to give her all to Jesus. All to Jesus I surrender. All to him I freely give. What the woman did was a thing of beauty. While the disciples criticized her for wasting the perfume, Jesus commended her and called what she did a beautiful thing. In the midst of this coronavirus pandemic, I've heard of and witnessed so many beautiful things people are doing to help make a difficult situation a little easier and more bearable for others. I'm reminded here of a line from John Keats' poem, Ode to Beauty. A thing of beauty is a joy forever. Jesus said, she has done a beautiful thing to me and declares truly I tell you wherever this gospel is preached throughout the world what she has done will always be told in memory of her. Her beautiful action brought joy to Jesus and he praised her, he commended her as he prepared to face his darkest hour death. What she did would remain a joy forever. Friends, 
As you journey through life, consider what you can do with your alabaster jar, the gifts and resources you have been given. How can you use them to encourage others, to help others? And so today, as we think of this story, let it encourage you to use every opportunity to do something beautiful for Jesus without counting the cost. Don't let what others say cause you to hold back or limit what you can do for him. That beautiful thing you do for Jesus can be the service you render to others. That beautiful thing you do for Jesus can be the sacrifices you make for the good of others. That beautiful thing you do for Jesus can be the love you show to others as you aid them in the struggle, help to ease the burdens they carry and lessen the pain they bear. Let us pray. Gracious God, we thank you for your generous love in Jesus, who gave his all that we might know the length, depth, breadth, and height of your love. Amen. Have a wonderful day. God bless you.